first shift theorem allows us to find Laplace transforms of functions multiplied by exponentials very quickly. The theorem states that multiplying a function, little f of t in the time domain, by an exponential, e to the at, simply means for the Laplace transform of this product that we are shifting the function in frequency space, capital F of s, along the s-axis by the constant factor in the exponent. This a here is the same as that a. Here's a quick example. We will find the Laplace transform of e to the negative 2t times t. Now we could of course calculate an integral to find this, which would take us a little bit of time, or we use the fact that the shift theorem gives, gives us a bit of a shortcut. Now we do know what the Laplace transform of t is. We can look this up on the table. This is 1 over s squared. And with this knowledge, we can quickly find the Laplace transform of e to the negative 2t times t. Because this is now, if I just name this capital F of s, uh, this Laplace transform we're looking for is now capital F of s minus a. Well, what is a? a is negative 2. So we get f of s plus 2 because the negative negative makes it a positive. Now that means we simply take f of s and replace s by s plus 2. This is the shift along the s-axis. So what we get is 1 over s plus 2 in brackets squared. I'm sure you agree that this is much faster than solving an integral. So do benefit from it when you see that you're meant to find the Laplace transform of a function multiplied by an exponential of this form.